Hello friends, happy Thursday, happy Thursday. I hope you are doing really well and having an incredible week. Sorry, I am running a little bit, okay, a lot late with the Thursday throwdown, but I made it. So I'm getting, I think my earring is hitting my mic, so hold on a second. Okay, so I'm getting ready to head out on vacation for next week, and so I'm running around a little bit crazy, so I apologize. Coming later than usual today, but I didn't want to skip it. I wanted to uh, make sure that I hopped online today to talk about these two really, really important things. So, uh, much like a lot of you, this last 12 months has been a real mixed bag. There have been some incredible things, some real high points like um, not only clearing out all of our crap debt but replacing it with things like extra vacations and two brand new cars and upgrades in our house and just really just wonderful things that we've been wanting getting a uh, kind of feedback from my doctor that hey you know that Epstein-Barr virus that everybody told you you would never get well from it's not in your blood work anymore. You show absolutely no signs and losing 15 pounds. And so lots of really good things in the last year. But like I said, it's been a mixed bag. Uh, my mom died. Um, we've had other losses around us. There have been some personal challenges that have come up. So just like a lot of you, the last 12 months has been a mix of some really great things, and also some very painful, very challenging things. And when I sat back and I was thinking about what it is that I do in order to make sure that I ride the wave of the amazing, wonderful, good things, and don't take these terribly uh, deep dips mentally, emotionally, energetically, when the difficult things show up, uh, I do the same two things over and over and over. And they are things that I teach my clients and they are things that I have specific strategies for that I'm gonna be inviting you to learn with me soon. But I did wanna tell you what both of them are and just be totally straight up. So the very first thing is, the very first of the two strategies is I am consistently fleshing out my fear stories. Are they true? What are they based on? What decisions are they driving? What habits are these fear stories creating in my life that are keeping what I desire at bay and at an, an arm's length instead of allowing me to call them in with ease? Stories are powerful. Our inner dialogue that is based on things like fear and worry and anxiety and self-doubt and lack of confidence. They are powerful stories and they have the ability to drive us to make decisions that are self-sabotaging, that are not fulfilling, that do not allow us to call in what we want. So even when these super challenging things have happened this year and you know I've been very transparent with all of you, about some very challenging things that have happened in my life uh, from childhood abuse to depression and anxiety to an eating disorder to getting diagnosed with PTSD. I know challenge, I know struggle, but I also know what it takes to be extremely resilient in the face of these things. And the first thing is being able to come to the truth of your fear-driven stories. And when you don't change those fear stories, what it actually costs. So the first thing I'm constantly doing is listening from a place of self-awareness and observation to that inner dialogue. And is that inner dialogue driven by a fear-based story rather than a truth? So that's number one. And number two is I am consistently doing what I know how to do and what I teach other people to do to reprogram my subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is where all of your beliefs reside. And if you don't do the work to reprogram the ones that aren't working for you, you will be on the hamster wheel forever. 
Now understand, and I'm gonna go deep into this, uh, my well-known blow up your bullshit five day uh, free challenge. The doors open for registration this Monday. So stay tuned for the link for that where I'm going to teach you all about this and, and, and why this is important. But if you find yourself kind of knowing better, in other words, you've learned a lot and you've done a lot of personal development, um, but you just aren't uh, doing any better or you take two steps forward and then three steps back, or you've read every single self-help book there is and things still haven't shifted. It is most likely because you are stuck in one or both of these areas, your fear-based stories and your subconscious programming, your limiting beliefs. That's kind of the common language for it. And if you do not do the work to get past those two things, you probably are going to struggle with being resilient. You're gonna struggle with fear. You're gonna struggle with sabotage. You're gonna struggle with overwhelm. You're going to struggle with um, just a lack of confidence and a lack of courage. And if you are in it to live your best life the way that I am, those two things are non-negotiables. So having said that, keep your eyes open because Monday I'm releasing the link to the free five day blow up your bullshit challenge where we dive in and we look at the obstacles that are keeping you from living your best life now and we begin to shift them. And then I'm gonna invite you into an eight week experience where I teach you ex the exact tools I have taught my other clients to shift your fear-based stories, to reprogram your, con your subconscious, to start to build new neural pathways in your brain for you to be able to create a brand new normal. In other words, start living your best life now instead of six months from now, 12 months from now, five years from now, when you retire, whatever. Because the truth is none of that is guaranteed. None of that is guaranteed. And like I said in the beginning of this video, the last 12 months has been a real mixed bag. There have been some amazing, beautiful things. There have been some significant losses. There have been some real challenges. And they have just been a beautiful reminder to me even more uh, to not only be living my best life now, but start teaching people how they can use this to get the obstacles to their best life out of their way so that you can start living it now instead of waiting for it to happen. So, like I said, stay tuned. Monday, I drop the link. I really, if you've been through the five day challenge already, I invite you to do it again. I have people who've done it two and three times already come on back, do it again. I updated the content this year, so it is not exactly the same as it has been the other four or five times that I've run it, because um, we get better the more that we do these things, right? Uh, so join, come join us. It's going to be taking place the week of August the 12th, so mark it off on your calendar, and registration is next week. So hop in, bring your best friend, and let's start moving the things that are holding you from keeping your best life out of the way. All right, my friends, sending you off with love as always.